So, Mayor, what's the possibility of you running for the Tories provincially? <laughs> How many times are you going to answer this question? Uh, <laughs> let me uh, let me say this. I uh, I think you all know that I've received uh, calls, and uh, both the uh, Liberals and the Conservatives have reached out to me. Um, and when they initially reached out to me, I indicated to both parties uh, that uh, I was. Uh, um, uh, grateful uh, and uh, certainly flattered by their approach, but uh, that I have a young family, that I have a job to do. I enjoy doing my job, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to do and continue uh, the hard work that uh, Council and I have set out. Uh, the Liberals dropped it, and uh, the Conservatives continued to, to make the phone calls and continued to pursue. I did meet with uh, uh, Mr. Hudak. Uh, we did have a discussion. Um, they have put uh, several things in front of me to consider. Um, and what they do know, uh, as I've expressed, is that uh, to know me and to understand me, which I think most people in Windsor do, uh, my interest is, has always been to put the interest of the taxpayers first and to ensure that the future of the city and the interest of the city is protected. Uh, and they understand that and they've been respectful of that. But I'm doing what a responsible person in my position would do, uh, and that is listen. And uh, I am. I'm being responsible and uh, respectful, uh, and I'm listening to what they're saying. What sort of things have they put in front of you? Yeah, what's on the table? Well, obviously, they uh, they believe uh, very strongly uh, in terms of uh, uh, the direction uh, and the work that they will be doing with regards to uh, trying to uh, form uh, the next government. Um, and uh, they have indicated uh, that uh, obviously Windsor has had the benefit of having uh, a strong voice at Queen's Park, represented ably through two uh, cabinet ministers, uh, Ministers Duncan and Pupitello, uh, with um, Minister Pupitello's announcement that she will no longer be running. Um, the, the, you know, they, the suggestion is that uh, Windsor needs a voice. It needs, a, continues, needs to continue to have a voice at Queen's Park. It needs to have a continue, uh, continue needs to continue to have a voice at the provincial and national level, uh, which is something that uh, I respect and certainly understand, and something that we've always tried to do over the past several years, and that is give Windsor a voice and make sure that Windsor is heard. Uh, so that's that's something uh, that they have uh, raised. Uh, they have raised the fact that circumstances have changed, obviously, uh, with regards to what's happening at the federal level and what's happened at the provincial level with the departure of Minister Portello. So things of that nature. I'm not going to get into other detail. Those are conversations uh, between myself and uh, uh, the leader of the, uh, the opposition. And uh, um, I do what anybody in my position would do, and that is uh, listen and uh, be responsible and respectful. What are some of the cabinet posts you've been offered? Again, I think, you know, and, and the, the, there's, there, there, nobody should be talking about offers of cabinet posts. Uh, I think people know uh, and understand how this process works. Uh, there are no guarantees and there's no such thing that happens, but I think speculation always gets well ahead of everyone else. The uh, uh, fact of the matter is uh, they've positioned it as uh, Windsor's interests need to continue to be guarded. Uh, you've had the fortunate ability to have two cabinet ministers represent this region, deliver a lot of money to this region, a lot of projects got done, and that, that voice needs to continue to be uh, there present. So the door is open for a Tory run for you? What I'm doing is I'm being responsible and respectful and I'm listening. But Mayor, you know, what about this quote? Uh, I have a family, I have a job here which I take very seriously. I have a duty to stay in Windsor right now. Uh, I have a family, uh, I have a job here, and uh, I take my responsibilities very seriously. Uh, I've expressed that to both parties, and I've expressed to the fact that my responsibilities are deeply rooted in my desire to ensure that the taxpayers' interests in the city of Windsor are first, and that the direction of the city and the future of the city is first and foremost. Uh, and that holds true, and uh, they're respectful of that. What would it take for you to make the jump? Uh, Guys, um, right now I'm just listening, uh, and uh, I'm being responsible, uh, I'm being respectful, and I'm doing any, anything that anybody else in my position would do. Um, right now, uh, most people in this city, I think, know me fairly well now to understand and appreciate uh, that uh, taxpayers' interest is, is paramount in my mind, and the direction in the future of the city is paramount. Uh, and we've worked hard to turn the city around, so uh, what I'm doing is listening uh, to what is, uh, what is being said, uh, obviously. Uh, my door has always been open. I've always had good relations with all levels of government, with all political stripes, uh, and I continue to have that relationship. Will you remain mayor until 2014? I am currently working uh, as hard as I can, uh, Gino, uh, day and night, uh, on the commitments that I've made uh, to the residents of the city of Windsor, and that is to continue to pursue jobs, uh, to continue to make uh, decisions and investments uh, together with this council, 
and to deliver on those priorities. And uh, for the past uh, several months, we've seen a record amount of investments and announcements uh, that have been made uh, that most people didn't think would happen in a lifetime. We've announced uh, the uh, premier hangar, which is now coming out of the ground, diversifying our local economy. We've announced the $100 million plus announcement investment with the university coming down to our downtown core, another most important pillar of our downtown revitalization. We've moved closer towards the uh, fulfillment of a 50 meter uh, family aquatic center. And as you know, I've been working hard on many economic development files. Uh, that's, that's my focus and continu continues to be my focus. Uh, but like you, in your positions and your occupations, if uh, someone's coming and wants to talk to you, uh, you're respectful and you're responsible and uh, you have those discussions. So you'd make the jump if the it's right not, offer came along? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, my goal uh, and my, uh, to understand me, to understand and try to understand the decisions I would make, you have to understand that uh, my interest is always uh, taxpayers' interest first and what's in the best interest of the city. Uh, and those are the things that, uh, that have guided me from the very first day that I was mayor and continue to guide me today.